Next night, why our crumbling coastlines are putting it at risk of an environmental disaster. <clears throat> Rising sea levels are exposing hundreds of landfill sites that are leaking their toxic contents into surrounding areas. Combating the erosion is very expensive, and as the local authorities and the government argue over who should pay, the problem is just getting worse, as Martin Stew reports. This stretch of foreshore along the Thames estuary is teeming with toxic rubbish. Just here we can see an old corroding battery, a piece of asbestos, and these are just strewn all over the beach. It's not been washed up by the river, but is leaking from landfill, exposed by the tide. This, I recognise it from my youth. Yeah, this is all kind of like 1980s. The rubbish that we put in our bins, thinking we disposed of it quickly, 30, 40, 50 years later, is just ending up on a beach. Kate Spencer has been sampling the site for years. And we found high concentrations of metals like arsenic and lead. And says the waste is worse than just an eyesore. The problem with these sites is their age. So this received waste between the 1930s and the 1980s, where regulations were much weaker. So it contains things like PCBs that we banned because they were so toxic and harmful, but also things like this plastic, which you can see is already breaking down and releasing microplastics. This is one of around 1,400 coastal landfills at risk of erosion and flooding around the country. Building sea defences for the ones between Lyme Regis and Selsey Bill alone would cost £250 million. That means nationally, we're looking at a bill running into the billions. A third of local authorities say their sites have no defences at all. Even those that do, like this part plastic peninsula near Portsmouth, landscape from landfill, are crumbling into the water. Here you can see some of the defences are starting to break out. And if that continues to a larger scale, we have a real problem. And here you can see a, a, a temporary solution where we've, we've patched it up to try and prevent that happening. I mean, that's a bodge, isn't it? So I'm guessing that's not good value for money. It's an effective way of dealing with the problem. Um, it does cost a lot of money. Building a new kilometre long seawall here will cost 15 million. Without central government funding, the council say they can't afford that. So they have spent half a million on temporary fixes. The government says responsibility for the sites lies with local authorities. It's launched a national review to see how they can help and has set aside £1.2 billion for sea defences. Are we on the precipice of a, an environmental disaster here? I would suggest we are. The problem for local authorities is we can't access funding to protect coastal landfill because that government funding from DEFRA is prioritised to protecting homes and creating new habitats. With sea levels forecast to rise a metre in the next century, Campaigners say we risk being awash in our own waste. Martin Stew, ITV News.